Good day everybody. Today we're going to be testing a few different types of ammo by a few different uh, manufacturers. Uh, the rifle we're using today is a Browning X-Bolt Long Range Macmillan. It's in 300 Winchester Short Magnum. On top of the rifle we have a HST Vortex. It's a 6x24 power with a 50mm lens uh, where you got MOA turrets on there. A few updates on the rifle I did. Uh, just to raise my cheek anchor I got a uh, ammo bag I guess you call it and then in the front I'm using uh, Atlas bipod on an adapter there uh, we've got the sunshade on the uh, vortex right now today I might take the bipod off and just strictly have it resting on a bench therefore eliminating any bipod jump for the testing of these ammo we're going to group group each box and then kind of compare and uh, select the best uh, ammo that's going to be shot out of this rifle. We have a few different ranges and grains. Uh, this rifle is uh, 1 in 10 twist. Um, I'm primarily going to be using this rifle for you know, whitetail, uh, anything up to maybe moose size game. But mostly uh, some long range shots are going to be taken in the field. Uh, we'll start by looking at uh, some of the cheap ammo we have here today. We're uh, right down to the Federal uh, 180 grain soft point. We'll start with that. Uh, similar is the Federal uh, 180 grain. It's the Fusion, the Fusion Bonded Bullet. We'll try that. This seems to be more prominent on the shelves now. Uh, moving over to the another Federal box, the Trophy Bonded Tip. This one here being the 180 grain trophy bonded tip. This is more of your hunting style bullet, another bonded bullet I might be using. Uh, back over here to the HSM. I tried to find uh, factory ammo that used uh, burger bullets. Heard a lot of good um, things about the burger. So today we're going to test um, this ammo. This is a 185 burger hunting VLD. Uh, it's a little harder getting this ammo so we'll see if it does shoot it the best. It might be hard to, to find some more of it. Moving on down to the Precision Hunter by Hordeny. Uh, you know this hunting bullet's been attracting a lot of attention. This is the 200 grain ELDX Precision Hunting. I'll try that today on the range. Uh, moving over to Winchester. Um, we have the Long range expedition. This is a 190 grain. It shoots the new Acubon long range. Then down over here we have our Winchester ballistic silver tip. Um, this is the 180 grain. Uh, yeah, the ballistic silver tip. So those are the few brands and uh, types of ammo we're going to be testing today in the rifle. Uh, we're going to bring this out in the field, set up uh, this target here, uh, most likely at 200, rain, uh, 200 yards. We're going to try to keep a cold bore situation going to test each one of these brands next to each other. Uh, give it some resting time in between each test to try to uh, level the playing field. Uh, so yeah, we're going to jump out in the field and test out some of these uh, different types of ammo. So here we are on the range, got the uh, X-Bolt set up. Uh, we're at 200 yards here right now. Hey everybody, we're here at 200 yards with the uh, Browning X-Bolt Long Range Macmillan. Doing an ammo test today of about six or seven different types of ammo. All in the uh, 300 uh, Winchester WSM, or Winchester Short Magnum. Uh, we're gonna start things off with the Federal Ammunition. Just the 180 grain soft point. This is pretty much the cheapest stuff you could buy out there. I've been shooting this mostly. Uh, what we're gonna do, we have a few different targets down there, uh, different circles. Uh, we're gonna reserve one circle for each type of ammo until we run out of circles. Uh, I'm gonna try to give uh, each ammo a three shot group. We're gonna try to keep the one minute intervals between those three shots. And then once we move on to a different brand of ammo, we're gonna let the gun rest at least five, ten minutes to try to cool down a bit. It's not too cool, not too hot out here today, 
about 20 degrees Celsius. So we'll give about a five minute interval between brands and maybe even give it a, a quick wipe of the barrel. Make sure we got uh, no fouling in there for the next guy. And try to keep things consistent as possible. I know the barrel's gonna slowly heat up uh, without waiting you know, a few hours in between shots, but we don't got time for that. So, so we'll start off with the off point here. Do one shot at a time through the barrel. Um, myself, I'm a, I'm cold right now too. I have no warm ups, so uh, we'll see how we're doing. Put these on. My 16 power here. Uh, I haven't dialed up for 200 yards. So that should be about, uh, depending on the ammo, about two inches low here. Uh, we're not looking for accuracy on the target itself, but uh, mainly just groups. So for two inches low everywhere, that's fine. Take a little while to get comfortable here. <clears throat> okay, we're pretty much set up there. Like I said, I took the bipod off. Uh, just have it on the bag today. So that way the barrel can move freely, the stock can move straight back. We don't want any dragging of the bipod on the table here to make the shot jump up. So I know in the field we'll probably have to do some different tests with the bipod, but today we're just going to have that off. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and see if I can take the first shot here. Um, 200 yards, like I said. I'm zeroed in for 100, so we're going to expect a drop here, but might have to compensate later. There's the first shot down range with the soft point. Give it about a minute here. Cool down. See if I can see where that shot is. I'm not using the shoot and see targets, but yeah, I can't see my impact there, but that's probably a good thing because you don't want any kind of issue of trying to compensate for that. We'll give that a minute to cool down and take another shot. <clears throat> Alrighty, we're gonna get lined up for our uh, second shot with the Federal 180 grains soft point. Our second shot. Yeah, this is going to be a patience game. Um, oh, I noticed that time it went up to 24 power. I'm going to try to keep that at 16. <laughs> yep, yeah, give that another second to cool down and. Uh, We'll take our third shot with that. Here is our third shot. The first ammo test. Here we are, that completes our first Three round group. Let's go down range and see what we got. 
This is our first group here 200 yards with the Federal 180 grain soft point. Pretty decent group for sure. It's about two inches, but we'll have to figure out the exact actual group size later. So I'll go ahead and label this and then head back to the next target. We're going to run a lightly soaked patch down there after our first test. It's been about uh, four minutes and a bit since our first shots. Bears a lot longer than my other guns. a dry patch and move on to the next one. This might be unnecessary to uh clean between tests but I just wanted to make, keep the test as uh, clear as possible and fair as possible for each round of ammo. Each one will be starting off a clean non foul bore. Clean no debris. The next test will be uh, Similar ammo to the first one. Uh, this is Federal's Fusion line. It's called the Bonded Soft Point. This is also a, a 180 grain. I don't think there'll be an extraordinary uh, difference between this and the uh, non bonded, but I'll give it a try. Ammo number two. For this, we'll probably go to top left target. I, I'll go with ammo number two, top left. First shot. We'll wait another minute. So this stuff is going uh, about 200 or 2,950 feet per second. I'll uh, I'll get all the ballistic coefficients of all of them in the description below, and then uh, once I have my best pick of the ammo, best grouping ammo that I'm happy in the price budget of. Then I'll uh, take that specific load and get more data on it. Run, um, maybe run it through the uh, Gunworks or the Federal uh, Ballistic Calculator. Get the drop using the coefficient temperatures and then I can start really uh, getting out to longer ranges with my turrets. Uh, I've developed some standard stuff so far just with 180 grain data. Got my drops and inches and everything. Been playing with that in the past, but I really want to find the best type of ammo that works out of this gun first, and then uh, then just stick with that one type of ammo from then on for hunting and for target shooting.
give that another minute to cool down for our third shot with the Fusion 180 grains. That concludes our three shot group with the Federal Fusion 180 grains. Number two on here. We'll go down range and uh, take a look at our group size. So this is the target just after our second test with the Fusion, a little larger size group here. I don't know if uh, it could have been me flying one there or not, but definitely a little larger than their, their first group. Both Federal 180 grains, one's the jacketed soft point, and one is the Fusion bonded. So we'll head back and uh, mark these off and go to the next box ammo. So that concludes five minutes since our last shot of the fusion down there. Just had a lightly soaked patch down the bore. We really need to get one of those uh, tipped in cleaning rods. That'll be the next purchase. And a dry patch down the bore. Alrighty, so our next ammo on the test block is the Federal 180 grain trophy bonded tip. This ammo here. I've used this ammo past on in the past on Whitetail with my 308. It seemed to work great. This of course is the uh, nickel colored cases. There's the trophy bonding tip. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on that, but that's the polymer tip. Maybe similar to the ELDX. Uh, ELDX is a little more new. They're marketing the uh, heat shield tip. So, might be a good comparison. But... So, for this stuff, we'll probably go uh, top right target. a minute between each shot of the group. <clears throat> First shot, the trophy bonded. about a minute there shot number two minute. All right, we'll uh, go ahead and load our third shot. This stuff is leaving the barrel around uh, 2,960 feet per second. Uh, like I said before, uh, this is a 26 inch barrel with a 1 in 10 twist. 
We'll go ahead and take our third shot of the group, top right of the trophy bonded pit. Third shot with the trophy bonnet tip. We'll uh, head down the range and see what we got. So the timer for five minutes. So this is our target after our third type of ammo. Uh, over here on the right is our latest group with the Federal 180 grain trophy bonnet tip. Again, a little larger group than the first, a little better than the second. We'll get the official distances of the group back home. So it's been about five minutes since our last shot. Go ahead and give a quick wipe of the bore. Again, trying to keep this as fair as possible between the uh, brands and uh, make sure there's no fouling. Each each ammo gets to start off with a, a clean bore. Might be overkill, but. with a dry patch. That concludes our test with the Trophy Bonin tip. Next we're going to move on to the Winchester brand. Um, this is the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip. This is also a 180 grain bullet. Green ballistic silver tip. We're going to go for the bottom left target, I believe. First shot with the Cyril tip. We've got about a minute to cool down. This silver chip has that coated bullet. I believe it's, it has a polymer tip, but it's coated in some type of material that uh, they say has less resistance on the barrel. Polymer tip, alloy lead core, control jacket, bow tail design. Oh, yeah, it's the black oxide. The Lubalox coating reduces engraving forces and barrel fouling. Uh, this velocity is uh, a little faster at uh, 3010, 3010 feet per second. The next one. Let me at the bottom left target. Second shot.
I put this bag on to uh, raise up my cheek weld a little higher. Uh, this Macmillan stock, you can see here, it already has a raised cheek piece, um, but it's not adjustable. Uh, with the MOA, the, this is a 20 MOA rail, and then plus uh, my Weaver rings gives me about a two inch scope height. So uh, for a consistent cheek weld, I just went ahead and put this on. Uh, I actually have a, a strap-on foam bag underneath this and this over top of it to give me uh, the right height I needed to look down. It's very important to get a consistent picture in the scope. Uh, from every shot for consistency, you want no black rings around the scope when you're sighting it. You have the distance you want and the height you need to align the perfect picture. Uh, when you when you zoom up, what people don't tell you about uh, different powered scopes is the more you zoom up, the closer you have to get to your scope. Um, so for those long range shots, you know if you're thinking you want to go to 24 power or even higher, you're going to find yourself getting right up on that scope in order to get those black rings out of the picture and get the full uh, view of the crosshairs. And then the closer you get, uh, you you know, increase your odds of getting scoped or uh, having to change your comfortable cheek weld. So it's very comfortable to sit right here, but if you're going up to 24 or 30 power, you're gonna have to crunch up on the scope a little more. Uh, right here, this scope has a, a bullet, bullet drop um, compensated reticle. Uh, not for a particular caliber, but it's just MOA rated. Um, and for those hash marks on the scope to be accurate, you have to have it at 16 power. There's a little red dot here. So I never go higher than 16 power when doing long range stuff. I'm comfortable at the distance and uh, the picture it gives me in the scope. We'll go ahead and take our third shot with the ballistic silver tip. 180 grain. Third and final shot with the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip, 180 grain. We're going to head down the range, see what kind of results we have. So we just shot our fourth box of ammo. So this is the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tape 1 Grady. That's it down here. This of course is all taking place at 200 yards. So far our first test is still the best group, which is funny, the cheapest ammo. We'll head back to the, the next test. Next up is our Winchester Expedition Big Game Long Range. This is a bit heavier grain bullet. This is the 190, uh, again, the 300 WSM. This is the Acubon long range bullet. Uh, I, we are running low on battery power. I went ahead and cleaned the gun in between the last shot. Just to save time, I did that off camera. That's the Acubon long range bullet. We'll put this one at the bottom right of the target. Shot number one. All right, guys, it's been about a minute. I'm gonna go with shot number two with the long range expedition. 190 grain. Bottom right target.
second shot. About a minute before our third shot. Alrighty, we're gonna take our third shot with the long range, long range expedition, 190 grain here. Bottom right target. Need our earmuffs. Hickok was saying, I forgot my ears. That's our third shot for that group. We'll go down range and check that out. So our fourth group, down here on the right, again a very large group. Um, I won't make any comments when we're done our whole test, but uh, that was the Yakubon Long Range Expedition. It is a heavier grain bullet. That fills up most of the board. We'll either change the target or start making smaller uh, targets or maybe about here or something. Go back to the next one. Went ahead and cleaned the, uh, the barrel after the last test off camera. It's been five minutes. Uh, next up is the HSM uh, Trophy Gold. It's the Burger Bullets. That's the 185 grain Burger uh, Hunting VLD. Give this stuff a try, it comes in little packages. Uh, we uh, ran out of uh, bullseyes on the target, so I made a uh, dot on either side about halfway up. So we're going to start aiming at the left, left homemade dot with the burger bullets. shot with the HSM. And, uh, the Burger VLD is known to have the less ballistic coefficient I believe. Give that a minute and take a shot after. All right, it's been about a minute. We'll go ahead and take our second shot with the Burger BLD on the left middle target. Finally, our shirt, third shot with the Burger VLD. Let that cool for a minute. All right, it's been about a minute. This is our third and final shot with the HSM Burger. Let's go down range and see how the VLDs did. This is our sixth ammo test. Uh, we were aiming at this point right here. Looks like we have a hit here, a hit here, and a hit down here. We're getting a larger group. This could be me, but you think I'd start shooting better throughout the day. But that was the Burger B or VLDs. Our camera went ahead and cleared the barrel again. Uh, last but not least, we got the Precision Hunter. Um, 200 grain ELDX. This is a horn of these. Newer bullet. It's got the heat shield tip. We'll send a shot down range 
uh, middle right target. Give that a minute to cool down and take another. It's been about a minute, we're going to take our second shot with the ELDX. Finally, our third shot with the ELDX. Middle right target. That concludes our final shot. Let's go down range and check it out. And finally, our seventh test, the Horn of the Eagle DX. It's aiming here. I have a decent sized group down here. This one, this one, and this one. We'll head back to the house for some final comments. So here we are, back at the house, reviewing the results of the uh, Browning X Bolt Long Range Macmillan and 300 WSM. Uh, comparing the following brands of ammo. Uh, in between each each set of groups, I passed a cleaning patch, uh, one wet, one dry each time. Uh, five minutes in between uh, each brand of uh, ammo each group and then one minute in between each shot inside the group uh, these are the results of the ammo test um, I'll start by pointing out our first group right here circled is the the first ammo which was the uh, Federal 180 jacketed soft point this stuff right here. Um, it was the uh, usually the cheapest stuff you could buy with the worst ballistic coefficient. Um, and I can leave it up to you. It seems like it's the best group right now. Uh, we could dive into why that may be. Uh, either being it's the first couple shots of the day. Usually cold, cold bore shots are the flyers. Uh, so we can't really use that as, as an excuse. Um, you know, I came out with a clean barrel, so uh, with no fire shots prior. Uh, so yeah, that's that will remain a mystery until I look into it deeper. Or if you guys have any comments on why you think you know, the the worst ballistic coefficient, I'll get those numbers again. But I, I believe this is like a three point three. This stuff, uh, not not up into the fifty range. Um, our second test was the Federal 180 grain, that was the Fusion. With this stuff here. Uh, very similar ammo to the uh, Jack of Soft Point. Um, bigger group for sure. Um, I'll have to measure the exact distances here, but you can see these one inch squares. One shot here, one shot here, one shot here. Bit larger of a group compared to the one prior. Our third shot was the Federal Trophy Bonnet Tip. That's up here on the right. Uh, definitely a better sized group. This is the, the 180 grain Trophy Bonnet Tip by Federal. Uh, the bottom bullets. This shot here, this shot here, this shot here. Decent group. Reminder that all these shots are at 200 yards. Um, I may redo the test at 100, but I figured, uh, you know, with this long range rifle, we're looking at the accuracy of these bullets out, out a little further, you know. And our fourth was the ballistic silver, silver uh, tip. It's 
down here in the bottom. A decent size group. Um, this this shot here, this shot here, this shot here with the ballistic silver tip at 200 yards. Uh, moving on was number five, which is the long range uh, Acubond. This is a bit odd group. Of course, this is a bit heavier bullet. This is the 190 grain bullet. This is the long range expedition. Uh, this is the three shots down here. Then you have this target. Down here, down here, and down here. Uh, just a reminder once again, yeah, I was sighted in for 100, so it it's, doesn't matter that I'm uh, not hitting the actual target where I'm aiming. I'm just looking at a group size as itself, right? Obviously, if I wanted to bring this up, I'd bring it up uh, about, you know, 1.3 MOA, well, depending on the bullet weight. But uh, what matters today is just the group size I'm comparing. Uh, moving on was the HSM with the burger. That was our number six shot. I was aiming up here. Uh, group, sh group is a little abnormal. This could have been a flyer as well, but take the evidence for what it is today. One shot here, one shot here, one shot here with the burgers. These are the 185 grains VLDs. Finally we have the Precision by Hornady. These were the uh, 200 grain ELDX and I was aiming up here at this mark. A uh, decent sized group. One shot here one here and one there. So that concludes the results of this ammo test. Um, I haven't given up yet. I, I think uh, each one of these brands can produce better groups at 200. Um, this test, as I mentioned, we cleaned uh, in between each of the three shot groups. Uh, I feel like that may or may not have an impact on group sizes. Um, to make sure, I'm going to take each one of these boxes and to have, pretty much finish them in a shooting test of their own on their own target. So I could, I could take out the, the HSM or the fresh target and uh, make a bunch of three shot groups, giving a little bit of time between three shot groups, but uh, no cleaning. So I'm going to let that foul up, come up with a, th a, a clean bore and take three shot groups. Three shot, three shot, three shot, three shot, all of one brand, and then compare uh, throughout that each one of those groups, and then get a, a, like an accurate read of how accurate that ammo is. Uh, so I'll do that for each of the brands here, because I'm the primary purpose of this is to figure out which type of ammo I want to use um, in a consistent manner uh, from going on. Uh, once I find one that you know pairs up with the the rifle well with this twist and the weight of grain uh, I'll stick with that for my target and hunting needs as much as I can so thanks for watching uh, hope you learned a little something about uh, these different types of ammo and a little process that at least I go through in uh, testing different types of food for my gun uh, the next video like I said I'm gonna take uh, one brand at a time and uh, put it to a full full day's test and really break down each type of ammo. But that's all for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.